Hello and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the week of September 24th, 2018 cross watcher reading for uh, Aries. Um, whew. I've prayed over my cards, blessed them with my stones, done a circle spread using the Enchanted Map deck by Colette Baron reed and clarified by using the Tarot of the Hidden Realm deck. Let's jump right in. So to start off with, we have an Aries energy in the beginning of the week of September 24th, 2018, who has the Golden Palace energies. These are big dreams, big goals, exciting financial opportunities, abundance, and joy. We also have the Aries, connecting or reflecting on connections with others by which they felt were a really joyful and happy connection. In their thoughts position, in the beginning of the week of September 24th, 2018, Aries has the ghost land energies where spirit is trying to slow them down, to sit in this frozen throne, to let time slow down for but a minute so they can really think about a new path in financial abundance and security a new path in contentment and joy. In their relationship sector, Aries is needing to slow down and look at their reflection in the sacred pool to remember that child within, that very playful child that opens their heart to others quite rapidly, but who needs to stop and understand that Sometimes keeping their hearts so open causes for them to make more of a situation, circumstance, partnership, however it applies, into more than what it should have been. So they saw an opportunity in connection to a person while they were working on their financial stuff. And now spirit is slowing them down to have them rethink what happens when they get excited and open their heart to others. Creatively by midweek of September 24th, 2018, they are coming into more of an awareness when it comes to their spirituality, when it comes to new goals and intentions, new directions. The Aries has the Major Arcana Empress. So Spirit is helping for the Aries to create new things in their life, to continue to build on what has been working when it comes to their financial abundance and security. They may have wanted to create something new with someone by which they really enjoyed a communication with. But Spirit is trying to slow the Aries down and say, focus on new ideas, new goals, new plans when it comes to finances. And think about how you are offering your heart to those around you, Aries. So the Aries in the actions position is indeed being blessed by spirit with the Taliban energy. Spirit is trying to guide the Aries into the correct and proper direction to make the correct and proper decisions so that they don't fall into the energies of the shadow dance, dark energies, incorrect decisions, so that they don't give in to an addiction or a person who not, is not good for them. So by the end of the week of September 24th, 2018, emotionally, the Sagittarius, I mean the Sagittarius, the Aries, okay, I don't know why I said that, is realizing the path by which they had to learn about themselves and emotionally, they're finding contentment within themselves, not needing another person to continually build them up. 
Therefore, in the past, they were waiting for some form of communication regarding finances or maybe even an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Also, if this Aries has a younger child who has earth in their chart, they've come a long way and they are indeed coming out on the other side of that. Subconsciously, this Aries is being put in the energies of a deep freeze to really reflect on how far they've come, the people that they have met, the communications that they've had, and what it is they've learned about themselves through communications and circumstances in their past. Again, with the Knight of Pentacles energy, this is about maybe an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, where the Aries kind of waited subconsciously for this person to come back towards them because they they or someone else opened up their heart to a friendship and maybe began to start thinking more of what that could be forgetting to open their heart to the ones they already have been blessed with in their path so in their day to day aspects of the circle spread they have been working on some sort of talent or skill, creative project or financial opportunity. And Spirit's telling them they need to continue to share that with the world because it's tied to their financial abundance. It's tied to their spiritual awakening. And yet they are questioning many things. They can't seem to make a decision because part of them is fearful of sharing themselves or sharing their talents with the world or others in some way. But the sun is going to be shining midweek for this Aries energy. Why? Because they're coming into a realization that they have brought great joy in their path. They didn't need a particular person to bring that to them. They didn't need to step into energies of the shadow side. Substances, unhealthy people in order to find happiness and excitement. They've already been blessed with their knowledge, their experience, their talents and skills. But at some point, they blocked themselves from continuing to move towards fulfillment in their life. In their inner strengths position, Spirit is going to assist the Aries in the week of September 24th, 2018 when it comes to making the correct decisions, when it comes to deciding what it is they're truly passionate about. And again, if this Aries receives any form of temptation during this week, Spirit is gonna to continue to guide them towards the right direction so that the Aries does not make a bad decision once again, now I just heard once again, so I feel like the Aries in the past made a decision that they're beginning to come to the understanding of that they blew into much more than what it should have been. But they're allowing, some not all Aries will be allowing this week, themselves to rethink what it is they thought they wanted. They were already being blessed and they got in their own way. They repeated some sort of pattern, but now they're able to let things go because they're understanding themselves better. So in a three card summary to my right with the Enchanted Map deck, the Aries is to be setting goals and meeting goals and working on their goals and intentions each day with the gentle gardener energies.
They are to continue to educate themselves when it comes to their talents and their skills. Spirit is helping for them to release old energies of sadness that they were embracing. And the magical map shifter is going to shift them into a new beginning, a new outlook, a new perspective. And they're going to start flying high. They're going to come into an awareness that, yes, indeed, I am a good person. I can open my heart to those already in my path. And I can fly high in this path as is without trying to change this path. I can be a leader because of what I've learned about myself in this path. So midweek for the week of September 24th, 2018, Aries is starting to recognize that things are indeed flowing beautifully. In the path, the home, the, stir, the circumstances by which they currently reside with the Dragon's Lair energy. And because they have learned a lot about themselves. Beautiful things are coming to life for them. I think this is also what they're coming into an awareness of, is that they need not hold back when it comes to their gifts, their talents, their skills, their spirituality, their goals and intentions. They need to appreciate the moments of solitude. Spirit is informing Aries and the cross watchers of Aries that Aries can now heal and come together with those who are around them and let go of what did not work in the past. And as they do, set new goals and intentions for themselves, the world is going to open up for them. Now they may be tested in the next, by mid to end of the week. But I think however this Aries is getting tested by this shadow side energy, unhealthy people, places, circumstances, situations, environments, or substances. Spirit's saying you're already in a new path. You've learned so much, Aries. Now you can take off your blindfold and step into a new beginning because you've been reborn. Because you have rescued yourself. You can now come apart from another and let whatever that lesson is end because indeed, spiritually, it has gone full circle. We are going to give you the strength when it comes to a passionate connection to make the correct choice. And Aries, by the end of the week of September 24th, 2018, is going to start feeling these peaks of joy. Joy and understanding, which is going to lead them to learn more, educate themselves more about new intentions and goals. As long as the Aries continues to pray to Spirit to give thanks for the wonderful blessings that have transpired in their path, their goals and intentions are going to start to come true. And the Aries is going to finally be able to ride the wave of happiness and joy, contentment and fulfillment. Spirit is definitely giving them the strength to work on things at home, in their home, something regarding their home. And there's going to be recommitment for some Aries because they're going to receive a lot of encouragement when it comes to their talents and skills. They need to be careful of someone who may come in and tempt them, who may try to confuse them, who may try to create a secret with them. But Aries has been there and done that and they learned from it with the Ten of Wands. They're willing to lay down a path and to speak their truth about an ending, about something that caused them heartache. They can now create many happy, 
joyful experiences in their life because they pushed beyond some sort of temptation, some sort of maybe fantasy or desire that never truly even came their way, but where they lost themselves in. Wow. So to clarify and to close, I pulled one card from the Oracle of the Mermaid's Deck by Lucy Cavendish, and this particular Aries energy is receiving the mirror. Number 21, which is three. Know thyself. It's been a time of self-examination where Aries is starting to see who they truly are in their life path. And to close, I'm going to read a little bit from the book to give credit to Lucy Cavendish. Water is a great mirror, and the darker it is, the clearer the reflections of the world around it will be, and so it is with life. The darker mirror, metaphorically, is when life or the sea or our feelings become darker, more complex, sad, thoughtful, deep at times, very painful. But the mermaid can help us as she holds up a mirror, a magical one, that not only shows us our appearance, it shows us all of ourselves, our sweetness, our hurts, and our scars. Come to accept the truth of who we are without seeking to adjust. Coming to self-love, self-knowledge, and self-healing. It is time to gently yet firmly see the truth about who you are, Aries, and to understand that who you are is not ugly or lacking, but a truthful, beautiful, beautiful, wonder-laden voyage into the soul. It is a time to be shown what the eye cannot always see, but what spirit has sensed. This may come through observations, loving words from friends who are able to see you, or from a stranger who notices something that many overlook. Or it can come from a moment when you glimpse, glimpse who you have become. Dreams, visions, and flashes of intuition are also mirrors that work with us at this time. Mirrors and who you appear to be will be coming up for you. Be sure to embrace the mirror and the magical mermaid's tool as an ally. And wonders and healing will unfold. So that is how somehow Aries has lost themselves. But in the week of September 24th, Spirit is guiding them beyond that confusion and is bringing them back to center where they can now stand much stronger in who they are than they ever did before. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe if you'd like a personal reading. I am available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com, and my price list is below. Take care, and God bless.